Evo ga, Dragane, evo ga opet, Dragane. Evo ga opet tamo. Da, da, da. Ne može samo kravo. I'm just trying to figure out how much they're going to cost when they start selling them. What the? What the? The cameraman never dies. However, you're an idiot with a camera phone. Know the difference. Be careful what you tell a woman because she'll she'll flip it around on you later. I think a lot of us guys have heard that before. Don't tell this bitch you secretly had a crush on one of your half-sisters because now she's going to start calling you an incestuous molester when she gets upset about something. Oh, I can't even have my kids around you like that. I don't know what you're capable of doing to my baby. Wow. We will psychologically destroy you if you let us because that hurts more than me just sucking the next dude's dick. Huh? What? That's not damaging. That's not oh, soul crunching. What? You'll get over that. And I wasn't no virgin when I met you, nigga. But me ruining his reputation? Making him go to jail a whole bunch of times for doing nothing? That's a power move. Don't raise your voice at me. You get too loud, I'm just gonna call the police. You know what they did to you the last time you went to jail? That's the kind of stuff that women will do to a guy. And not think twice about it. She'll turn your children against you. What do you mean? Now nobody else in the house respects you. What are you talking about? There's so many things a woman will do. All right, let's do it. Yo, I know the devastation in Lahaina is serious. Why do you keep showing me the Walking Dead intro? <laughs> Niggers, stop turning everything into a fucking party. Jeez, with you guys. It's a goddamn crisis. Everything okay? No, I'm sick of it. And people were evacuating. Um, there was a police barricade. I was watching an aerial video, and I took a screenshot and then zoomed in. And it's almost like they were not allowed to go that way. But was, was the fire? I don't know. It's definitely something I um, want to understand more about. Wait, is that the same zombie avenue shot they showing everybody? <laughs> Got it! What is this right here? Is this an establishing shot right here? This thing that says front down there? What is that all about? What is this? A marker for the camera? I mean, it's all a movie. I'm just ready to change the mother channel. One of my favorite theories is the Halloween costume theory. This was Ice Spice before she got famous and I'm sure that she would have been really popular. She makes really great music but it wasn't until she cut her hair short and had that red look almost like that Annie musical. Oh uh, yeah she does look like little Horfin Annie. That she blew up almost overnight because it was such a unique look that really made her stand out. And it's one thing to get noticed as an artist but it's another thing to be memorable. Oh, oh, no, 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 nah, it's a divorce for me. So women, if you come back from over there like this, let me reframe that. If you go over there talking about, yeah, girl, pop, nah, it's a divorce, dude. This is not the patriarchy. This is, I cannot be making, I, I need lips. That's, I draw my line at lips. I'm a habitual lip liker. I gotta have standards for myself. You try to shame me. That's the creepy part. That you want me to marry Skeletor? Hey,
It gets worse when you realize his wife came back from the war looking like this. What the fuck? That's what I'm saying. There's way too much creepy stuff happening at the same time. Creepy bells, door slamming, and then Missy came back. I thought her name was Emma. No, she missing lips. Alexa, turn on all lights. I couldn't find any enabled video skills. Really? You go to the Alexa Thanks, app Alexa. to manage your video skills and devices. <laughs> Women. The biggest police scandal in the country right now is going down in West Virginia. One reporter in West Virginia exposed it and things have escalated. A couple of weeks ago, I released an anonymous whistleblower letter from a state trooper making specific allegations against top leadership. That kicked off what is essentially a civil war inside the West Virginia State Police. That whistleblower has been arrested. Oh, that's a big surprise! His lawyer is alleging a cover-up conspiracy going all the way to the top of the state police. That's an incredible... I think I'm gonna have a heart attack and die from that surprise. Now, more breaking news. As of last night, it was revealed that the governor has ordered the seizure of the cell phones and electronic data of almost all the top leadership at the state police. I started getting all sorts of con contacts from current and retired law enforcement officers with messages of support, as well as additional information. Then I started getting these additional anonymous letters. One of those letters made what are essentially reverse accusations against the trooper that was later discussed, or disclosed, or alleged to be the whistleblower. His name is Joey Cohn. That was the first time that I had heard his name. I've never talked to the guy, and he's not the one who gave me the letter. But I did start to hear through my contacts that the whistleblower, or whistleblowers, because it seemed to me that there was more than one individual from the, just the amount of information that was provided, that they were worried that retaliation was coming from the, the leadership of the state police. Then, sure enough, on February 24th, 2023, the leadership of the West Virginia State Police issued a press release announcing that the alleged whistleblower, Joseph Comer, a current member of the West Virginia State police was arrested and charged with domestic battery and felony strangulation is there a misdemeanor strangulation no nah, i wasn't trying to kill her you know i was trying to choke the life into her because i'm like she ain't hit me i said it's over that's what happened that shrapnel took half her face off and her brain with it so i said let me choke some life into her your honor that's it huh y guilty go out here and get this man here come this crazy mother open up condo miss jackson stop playing with me for real, stop playing with me. Like a bag of weed. Don't nobody, yeah. don't nobody give a fuck about no police, Miss Jackson. You don't want to file the taxes. You did that. You know I was supposed to claim one of the fucking kids. Man. This is terrifying because this is just Tuesday. Out here dressed like an environmental pimp, <laughs> nigga. You environmentally pimping? That nigga dressed like global warming. Get the fuck out of here, nigga. The terrifying part about this? Yeah, that's just Jamal. Yeah, he he out here dressed like if global warming was a person. He ain't take his meds. And you know what? I'm just gonna say it, man. Black people are scary. Even to black people, black people are scary. This child in drag has danced at gay clubs at night while grown adult gay men throw money at him on stage. He's appeared in videos with adult gay men where he pantomimes snorting ketamine off of his hand, something that no 11-year-old should know how to do or be aware of. Um, just for reference, here's that moment. Everyone can Your mom can do drag. What has this world come to? It's come to a world where drag kids actually exist. And people do ketamine on a couch. <laughs> and people do ketamine on a couch. I mean, we all have that cousin that, like, he we knew he was gay when he was, like, four or five. But compared to that, this is extreme. Yeah, so he's uh, so that's uh, during some kind of Facebook Live or something, and he's done a lot of these where he's where he appears with adult um, cross-dressing men. You heard that flutter in his voice at the end? Stressed. But I mean, let's keep it real. There is a Nambla. That's the North American Man Boy Love Association. Look, they're celebrating forty-four years of Nambling. Wait, 
Is that why Indiana Jones always be with that Asian kid? No. Ooh, I can't believe it. COVID backwards. D I V O C. What Devok means in Hebrew is possession of the evil spirit. Did you say free fries when you get vaccinated? Um, I got vaccinated. You're saying I could get this? You delicious fries? Wait a minute. But there's also a, a burger element to this? Let me, let me check with Bill Needhart. Is it too early in the day to eat a burger? No. This can be breakfast? Okay. I want you to look at this and think about... I bet some of you are still going to go here to get some fries even after you watch this crazy video. If you go to McDonald's anywhere in the world, you will find french fries. And you will find that they're always made from the same potato, the russet Burbank potato. This is a potato from America that's unusually long. That's what she said and difficult to grow, but that's what they want because when you're McDonald's, you like those red boxes with a little bouquet of very long chips. It looks really good. And so they insist that they have no blemishes at all. And there's a very common defect of, of russet Burbank potatoes called net necrosis. And you've seen potatoes with a little brown line sometimes. Well, McDonald's won't buy them. And the only way to eliminate that is to eliminate an aphid. And the only way to do that is with a pesticide called Monitor that is so toxic that the farmers who grow these potatoes potatoes in Idaho won't venture outside into their fields for five days after they spray. And then when they harvest their potatoes, they, they have to put them in these atmosphere controlled sheds the size of a football stadium because they're not edible for six weeks. They have to off gas all the chemicals in them. So wait, you're going to give me some free food laced with chemicals so you could poke me in the arm with chemicals. Well, what's in it? Which one? Both of them. Is it safe to say that based off of your comments, you're suggesting that these women at these abortion rallies are ugly and overweight? Yes. What do you say to people who think that those comments are offensive? Be offended. Somebody finally said it. I'm glad it was this man because y'all the ones who started the damn problem. Who oh, empowerment? Who the fuck is empowering these weird looking bitches? You? All you gotta do, incel, is just leave people alone. You identify as a moon chakra? Okay. Tolerance I get. Now you're bullying me. Damn, that's a hairy ass arm. That is not a good looking face. As a Barbie doll collector, I know what a pretty face looks like. That mold is just all off. That nose is very bulbous at the end. Yeah, her personality, whatever, dude. Jesus Christ, look at this arm, dude. That's a tharm right there, dude. That's a thigh arm. You out here walking around with tharms? That's a lot of fat. So I just try to pull up her pants a little bit because she, you know, she said, yeah, that gut's still there. That was a Freudian slip. She ain't mean to do that. See her arm? Covering up that belly again? Yeah, don't look at the belly. Look at this thing right here. There you go. You like it. Came back from the war looking like this? Can you see why I was trying to choke some life into her, Your Honor? Oh, pharmaceutical ass bitch. And what's on her list of standards for me before I can earn her love. I gotta be down with the Justice League. What, I gotta be Thanos out this bitch? And I gotta be a romantic? And I gotta have a good job? And I gotta be six feet? And I gotta have a six pack? And I gotta make six figures? Just smooth out your leg bumps. It wasn't even a shadow. It dematerialized into like mist.
what you acting surprised for? These hoes ain't loyal, no they ain't. <laughs> 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 oh shit! <laughs> 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 oh my god, it's empty, it's empty, it's empty, it's empty, it's screaming. I wonder what she saw at the door when she opened it. Because it looked like something was there. I thought she was opening a closet. What is the hidden meaning of Times Square? And how does it relate to the satanic? Times means to multiply. The multiplication sign, also known as the time sign, is the symbol X. X is the 24th letter of the alphabet. Twenty for equals six, when you add up the numbers. And now, the word square. Square means to multiply by itself. For example, five squared is five times five. So x represents both square and times, making that triple x or triple six. Hence the old triple x rated movies. According to James Trobb, Times Square is the devil's playground. No wonder why Disney came to the rescue. Oh, snap. Yet again, 666. Nothing to see here. So what's next to Times Square? Hell's Kitchen. And what's next to Hell's Kitchen? The Garden As in the Garden of Eden Now we know why New York is the Big Apple And what do we know about Lucifer? Lucifer was a glorified angel But fell from heaven to establish his own kingdom According to the scriptures Lucifer is the morning star the term Lucifer is Latin for light bearer or light bringer hence the name, the morning star. Every New Year's Eve we perform a ritual at Times Square. As we marvel at the bright ball of light descending down from high above. Lucifer, the light bringer, otherwise known as the morning star. Enter ye in at the straight gate, for wide is the gate, and broad is the way that leadeth to destruction. Welcome to the Matrix. That always confused me about Christians. If angels can only obey what God said, according to you, then how could Lucifer, an angel, disobey God? Wouldn't that mean he wasn't an angel? I mean, who said he was an angel anyway? Isn't he the king of liars? So who's to say that he didn't tell people that he was an angel? And people just believed his lie. I mean, who are you to tell the truth to? You know what the Christian said to me? Stop it! That's enough! Don't come one step further! Say it over your body. The Lord rebuke you. Oh my gosh, look at the harbor. Oh my gosh. Gosh! Oh my gosh! I wonder if he's doing that with his hand because he can like, it's like noticeably hotter when he put his, I don't know, unless he was trying to use his mutant ability to turn time back, he could stop it. <laughs> Did he go doing it again? I mean, maybe he's talking to nature, Mother Gaia or something. I don't know what these dudes be doing. Are you guys believing that? You ain't got no choice but to believe it. Oh my gosh. Oh. 
I mean, low key, that did only happen like two months ago. As of this video, that only happened like two months ago. It's like you bracing yourself for like, damn, what is these niggas going to do next? The bullshit is I don't want to be in the next episode. Yeah, well, here's the thing I don't get. The fire is very, it, there's corners. You, you see, it's very strategic where the fire was burning at. A lot of precision was used with that. And then the ground doesn't look like it's burned. Like the street looks fine. And what I mean by that is, how did the fire get put out? It just burned itself out? But how would it have? Are the streets flame retardant? I mean, that's fine if they are, but like, why is the, well, like, why are the trees still green just across the street? Burnt up trees? Literally across the street, green. It looked like a controlled fire. Like they just, I don't know, man. It just, it just looks strange. It really looked like it was a riot there. I mean, you go back and look at like Compton, how how the businesses and the community looked. It looked like that, man. It, it looked like this. The best way to gain control of the most intelligent, powerful species on the planet would be to completely divide them from the love within themselves. As soon as they are old enough to begin creating an understanding of who they are, force them into a system that teaches them that it is wrong to be yourself if yourself is different from what is accepted as normal. Confuse them about their own biological makeup so that they think that permanently altering their body is the answer to happiness. Require their daily attendance at an institution that makes them focus only on the information that is provided. Make them attend that institution from age 5 until an adult and repeatedly test them on the information so that it becomes their truth. I'm glad I left in eighth grade. Give them an explanation to everything so that they never have a chance to make their own assumptions of the world. Scold them and humiliate them if they suggest an opinion that opposes that of their authoritatives. Keep reminding them of how cruel their ancestors were to each other in the past and broadcast how cruel they are to each other in the present. Only show them tragedies on the news so that they live in fear. I was like, I don't even want to do this. I want to rap. Back then when I said, I don't want to go to school, I want to be a rapper, they was like, that's far-fetched. What are you talking about? You should do something more practical. But I knew you was a clone. That's why I knew rap was what it is today back then and think the worst of one another convince them that their species used to be that of an incognizant wild animal make them think that their very existence is so incredibly random that they lack purpose and struggle to make sense of a creator tell them that their kind is as smart as they've ever been so that they don't question the integrity of the system that they're in provide them idols with artificial beauty and use them as examples of what it is to look perfect so that they are never content with their own appearance and can't help but to compare themselves amongst each other create addictive digital platforms that rank them by numbers so that they base their self-worth off of the amount of followers that they have and are never satisfied. In 1987, a couple of househeads from Chicago stumbled across a piece of equipment in a second-hand store that would kickstart a musical revolution. For those that don't know, this here is called a Roland TB303 bass line. Me and Spanky and a group called Future, we picked this up at a second-hand shop for 40 bucks. And this was basically designed to emulate a bass guitar. And um, it did a real crappy job of it. But I realized that, yo, I could make this, this bass sound do like some weird stuff. So I was like, I'm going to just twist these knobs in a crazy way because I like warping that sound. And I was like, all right, let me 
me start twisting the knobs. And then we was like, like jamming like this. Like, and, and we just, yeah, keep doing it. He said, Pierre, keep doing it. So I was like, okay, okay, I'm turning the knobs. And then we thought it sound real crazy. And then I started turning it like this. And then we was like, we was like, oh, that's it right there, that's it. The resulting tune was Acid Tracks. Our number nine, a relentless 12 minute 303 mind warp, which single handedly invented an entire new sound Acid House. When Acid Tracks came out, they lost their minds. You know, I don't know what happened, man, with, with that song. You know, something just like trick that, that machine, that TV 303, it triggers brain cells and stuff. It didn't really have a beginning or middle or an end, it just was. Is a point of genius. This was groundbreaking DIY music being made on a shoestring budget. Now everybody could get involved. It's very cheaply done, very affordable, very street, very gritty, which is what the scene was all about. Technology was coming down in price at the time, so suddenly you could afford to buy bits of kit to make these records. So there's a bit of that punk rock spirit. Um, anyone can do it. Just get up and do it. I could absolutely see that machine being used as some type of weapon to manipulate the people. I mean, hell, they got lasers that give you brand new weather. Never learned about the history of education. I started questioning what I was doing as a teacher by reading the book Dumbing Us Down by John Taylor Gatto. I love that book so much that I decided to read other books by him, and one of the books that he wrote is An Underground History of American Education. I read through that whole book and became absolutely convinced that if people knew the history of American education, we would not be doing what we're doing. Here are some quotes from people who helped to set up our American education system. What is the purpose of industrial education? to fill the young of the species with knowledge and awaken their intelligence, nothing could be further from the truth. The aim is simply to reduce as many individuals as possible to the same safe level, to breed and train a standardized citizenry, to put down dissent and originality. That is its aim in the United States, and that is its aim everywhere else. H.L. Mencken. If the public schools can keep the children occupied throughout the day with sports after school and homework in the evening, the parents will have less than an hour a day with their children, and the families and Christian churches' influence over them could be broken in about a generation. John Dewey We who are engaged in the sacred cause of education are entitled to look upon all parents as having given hostages to our cause. Horace Mann Education should aim at destroying free will so that after pupils are thus schooled, they will be incapable throughout the rest of their lives of thinking or acting otherwise than as their schoolmasters would have wished. I just want to point out right here, and I'm not even trying to be funny, these are all white people. I'm just saying, the patriarchy, this is white men. Everybody wasn't there, so everybody didn't have a hand in this nightmare we're living in. Ain't that creepy how people still are like, oh man, I'm scared of black people. I'm scared of everybody. Leave me the f alone. Yo, why did you show it again? And 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 then why did you zoom in to it doing this? What? What is it with these two clips, man? First you send me an alien grasshopper. What is this? Another episode of The Clumsy Psychic? A ghost followed her home and just is a practical joker? This entity out here just tripping <laughs> Now you sending me demon toes. I mean, you're doing better. He looked like he tiptoeing on fire. Ooh, Lord, this show is hot. Hoo wee. That was racist. That was racist. But why he moving his arms like that? Boss, our show is ready to go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why was this Hispanic Puerto Rican classified as Negro? This was a question asked by Puerto Rican content creator Antonio Million. Clearly, 
He is a white man. First off, this man, your grandfather, does not look clearly white. Especially because white today meant something totally different than white back then. But also forgetting the time your family was living there, Adam Clayton Powell was one of the most famous black Americans in New York and the world at that time. The mystery is not whether this guy is black or not. The mystery is how did Walt Disney do it? I mean, come on now, man. Come on, dog. He got the official when you wish upon a star mustache with the authentic evil fuck eyebrows. Mystery is solved. And he had a Puerto Rican wife, Yvette. Going off perception as you're doing, he clearly looks more white than your grand. Dude, that is Walt Disney, dude. I think what they really telling us is that, yo, we we been had clones for a minute, y'all. I'm trying to tell you the aliens, they've been here for a minute since before we was even here as humans. Again, you making me look like a conspiracy theorist because you ain't know that. You cannot understand black American history or American history at all if you don't understand racialization. For example, this is Lawrence. Lawrence was born enslaved and he's listed as black. Not mulatto, not anything else. Black because they did not care. Well, that's the million. They have him listed as a black man. I was talking to my brother about this. And he was like, well, you have to realize they didn't have Hispanic as a classification until 1970. They're not putting your grandfather down as Hispanic because they didn't see that as a racial category. They're not putting him down as Hispanic because he was a clone. They saw Puerto Rico as a mostly Negro colony that would infiltrate and destroy the American society. These are the white Anglo-Saxon Protestants saying this. And this is all due to racialization. WASP. They gave it a different acronym. I thought we all knew that. Are you coming to the... Because white people is not on this. These are aliens. I'm trying to... Yeah, whatever. Man. Sorry to my white audience. I, I be trying to level with, you know, my black audience. They don't want to believe what happened in Lahaina but they do believe in lizard people. Anglo-Saxons who were in power for hundreds of years in the US. So pause to read, but basically racialization is a way that the dominant group in America, the WASP, could stay in power by labeling everyone else Negro because it was a binary racial system. You were either white or you were black. Are you getting it now to my black nerds? You use a nerd, dude. I am too, but just in the inner city, you can't be nerds, but now you can. So as a nerd, do you get it? White folk is not, nah, it's, it's aliens, dudes. The wasp is the name of the alien race. I call CGI on that one. Come on, guy, you exaggerating. In the archives at the Vatican, five miles of archives underground. Can't just go, oh, I'm gonna go check out the archives underground. No, you have to be a security cleared, almost top secret cleared based on their standards. Security cleared, almost top secret cleared. That's an alien. And if you're not an alien, you gotta be a high level clone. I don't even think they let humans go in there no more like that. I don't know that they ever let humans go in there like that. Down there also, according to even some Jesuits, are bones of actual quote unquote alien beings uh information about uh, advanced beings that visited this planet the anunnaki they have all these relics and artifacts they have information even out of iraq that's not even hearsay that's like common knowledge like they know like you can't do nothing man we'll don't let us just erase your whole town from space this stuff was common knowledge when i was a kid that shows and proves that advanced races had lived on this planet long before this current civilization here exists. And I'm talking about eons and eons ago, super highly advanced with technologies and capabilities of flight and everything else, weapons of war that existed. All that information is stored underneath the Vatican archives, along with some of the most incredible texts and books and inventions that ever existed on this planet. And the exact time when Jesus is supposed to come back, if he's real, they know it's buried under there. And that's been common knowledge for years. Siphoning it away and they're hoarding all of that wisdom and knowledge so that they can keep control and power and domination over the world. And guess what? It's working. And humans can do that? <laughs> no, dude, you get, get it together. A human clone that they genetically enhanced? Sure, he or she probably could. Them or they probably could. You ever heard of the red car theory? Nope, totally okay, not. Zach, you drove here today you from did. your house. Yes, How many red cars did you see? Oh, my guy looked like Michael Stipe. What's his name from the Young Dreamers? <laughs> hey, let's go. You got the Dreamers disease. He's giving off clone vibes. 
I'm going to go with uh, 62. Oh, but do you know that? <laughs> no. Okay, so uh, that you can think of, and you're sure, how many red cars did you see? Zero. Okay, but if I told you before you left your house that I was going to give you $100 for every red car that you saw on the way here, yeah. would that have changed things? 100%. Okay, so opportunity is exactly the same. Mm -hmm. If you wake up every day and you are not looking for opportunity, you will not see it. It could be right there. Right. It could be next to you at the red light. It could be right next to you parked at the CVS. It could be right in front of your face, but because you're not looking for it, you didn't see it. Right. The couple things I was going to say who's filming the guys in like a high rise what can you really do who knows how fast this water came in whoa look how crushed this freaking van is Alright, I know I'm fat. Y'all are gonna stop trolling me. You have to see this. The Grim Reaper may have actually been caught on camera. So this video I'm about to play is coming out of El Salvador where there have been recent reports of paranormal manifestations accompanying tragic events. Some paranormal investigators say that this was the angel of death caught on camera. Watch this. In this video, you can see the moment that a driver loses control of their vehicle, crashes through a guardrail, and ends up in a ravine. The accident resulted in the death of the driver. Now this is the strange part. Moments after the car crashes, a truck passes by, and on this truck, you can see a dark humanoid figure standing and seemingly observing the car crash. Paranormal investigator Caesar Sagath believes that this was the angel of death, who is cited in parts of the Bible, and who he says is responsible for transporting souls to the spiritual world. You, you, you can't believe in peanut butter and you don't believe in jelly. So you think it's ghosts, and then this is the angel of death, and then you tell me about some Bible stuff. But this is for entertainment purposes only, so I hope Jesus entertains you. I don't know if you saw this story, Jeremy, but basically Ron DeSantis tried to take away Disney World's rights of self-governance since they're pushing all the child grooming stuff lately. And Disney World came back and was like, uh, 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 not so fast. We only answer to the crown. And this is just almost hilarious if you know what's going on because they would never ever admit this unless they were forced to in a situation like this. But they basically admitted, like, you don't have jurisdiction over us because we're owned by Britain. <laughs> so for those of you who are, like, confused by this, apparently the land that Disney World is on is owned by the Crown. And so since, like, 1960, Disney World has basically been a tax-free sovereign district, you know, exempt from taxes and anything to do with federal statutes. And they basically claim to just be, like, an apolitical charity. You know, Disney does a lot of charity work so that they can be tax exempt. Then they started pushing all this woke stuff, and so Ron DeSantis was like, All right, guys, you want to get involved in politics? Then let's do politics. So, Disney is owned by the royal family. I don't know, man. It's like they keep letting us know. I think they're just tired of hiding. They want to be left alone. That's what I think. We're going to take away your tax exempt status in Florida. But then Disney World came back and pulled out this clause from the British Bill of Rights, which is a royal clause that dates back to like 1692. And it says that essentially Britain has sovereignty over any territory of the crown until the last descendant of King Charles III has passed. And that's the clause Disney World used to keep their tax exempt status in Florida. And if you know anything about history, then you know that this clause comes from the Magna Carta which is like the English Bill of Rights. And Jay-Z's album, Magna Carta, Holy Grail. That's the Holy Grail of Laws. So most people reading this article are probably like, 
Wait, how is Disney avoiding... She's definitely a lizard. Come on now. Look at her lizardy lips. Federal tax codes by using an English Bill of Rights clause. But that's because Disney World is technically a territory of the crown. Just like Washington, D.C., actually. Most of you know that Washington, D.C. is not actually a state, but a territory. A.K.A. a British colony. So, you know, do with that what you will. But uh, this is important for us to know that actually what we tried to escape in England, that whole system of um, sort of the feudal system of law that they were enslaving everyone under, America tried, was an attempt to escape that and create a truly free country. And so what a lot of, you know, alternative independent historians say is that England could have easily stopped this from happening, but they essentially were like, well, let's just give them the illusion of what they want and technically we'll still control them and we'll still create the same law structure in that country as we have here. What can you say about that? I'll tell you what we could say. We could talk on Patreon about that. Some of y'all are very good future film students. Are you sending it to me because you're like, yeah, let's see if he believes it's real. Don't do not do that. Travis Kelsey dating Taylor Swift only further proves to me that he is a black athlete trapped in a white athlete's body. Now, we know he got the swag of a black athlete, and we know he can do a touchdown celebration like a black athlete. But after getting with Taylor Swift, he has officially gained the dating habits of a black athlete. Because he was with his sister the whole time he was on the come up in the NFL. And he stayed loyal to that sister right up until he started getting them Super Bowl. But the moment he got that second Super Bowl, this wigger, this wigger just ran to the whitest part of town. I mean, racism aside, because that was pretty racist. Uh, do we believe that Get Out was just a movie? Or do we think it was predictive programming? They kind of just telling you, well, we've we been doing this. We just got to tell y'all now. It ain't just any white woman. She is the whitest of white women. You look up the definition of a white woman in the dictionary, it's a picture of Taylor Swift looking just like this. Yeah, so as far as I'm concerned, Travis is just doing what a lot of successful black athletes do. He's still with us, you know what I'm saying? But he, he he's just following the script. He's just following the script. Oh, I, s I see what you did there. Yeah, you got me. This Cardi B interview is a great reminder not to put people in a box or judge a book by its cover. Watch. What you was asking me? Oh, about uh, taking David Letterman to get a chopped cheese sandwich. You know, did you have a lasting memory from that? Kind of a, an amazing cultural moment to witness. I, that wasn't even like my favorite part. I didn't really care about that part. What stays in my mind for a long time is that I went to FDR's house. If anybody loves me, know me, I love FDR. You love FDR? Yes, and I love Eleanor Roosevelt. And you know how he got us through the Great Depression Real with way. a war. Mm -hmm. Only president that got elected four times while he's in a wheelchair. As I grew up reading a lot about Eleanor Roosevelt, she had a very sad life. And like, when I went to her uh her house well she she had different house this is not cardi b this is something else from her from her husband because you know um fdr mama she was always around like and she ain't really like that see see how the robot is, is, is trying to go back into cardi b mode like 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 so what had happened was like 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 eleanor wanted her space just like me i want my own space all the time i saw the room where churchill and fdr was talking about the nuke that is crazy to me like like i'm see she's pushing her helmet back on cardi b is not intelligent at all about nothing it's a robot really here like i like i don't know why i'm obsessed with war Art of I, war, I, could 
I'm Cardi B, the stripper, but I'm also obsessed with war. I love Franklin Delano Roosevelt. Be, do, do, be, be, be. Here with yes, the aliens. Yes, no, yes, I, yes. I, 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 like, it's in you. I'm obsessed with World War II. Like, I love World War One. Like, you know, I like reading about that. But World War II, like, I'm obsessed with just learning everything about it. What? No. Strippers, that's, strippers are, no, stop it. Stop. So for me to be in the same room that Churchill and FDR was discussing, the nuke is like, it was just such a moment for me like y'all probably think i'm crazy but like no we just know you're a robot we don't think you're crazy and look and they, if you started to think hmm it's a little out of character for cardi b here look at her booty things humans should never have seen what hides the clock <laughs> Yo, this is the kind of stuff that Da Vinci was doing. But I know many of you have already known this. Shout out to y'all. Y'all already a part of the community. It actually is. She's trying to get out of her contract and here is proof. Someone commented on her Instagram, girl, have you realized you're losing Insta followers? And she answered, yes, I need to. Yeah, some people, they have this their conscience be like, nah, you don't want to do this. You want to go do something else. Pinned it. Someone else commented, Doja, please unblock me. I'm sorry. Pinned. What does that mean? I'm going to block everyone. I don't want this anymore. Doja Cat claims she's quitting music. But why? Why would she quit? Everything is dead to me. Music is dead. I'm an effing fool for ever thinking I was made for this. This is an effing nightmare. Yeah, because the stuff that you have to do as a clone having that alien knowledge like everybody is not built for that i'm not built for that i'm glad i'm old i'll be going soon but you guys that was born in 2003 oh boy it's just getting started for you you think all of this stuff is normal but even some of you guys be, be feeling like ah, this is something that's weird my theory is those people aren't actual clones i think most of our society is clones i'm not saying it's true because i can't prove it some people are okay with what's happening and then some people are like something strange is going on these are the people i think that are still humans that's just my theory unfollow me i quit do these things ring a bell let me refresh your memory that was fifth harmony years ago this was back when Dojo was being overworked for tour. So she said this and then she came back and said, no, I'm sorry, I didn't mean it. Sound familiar? Do you know any other people who are overworked yet? They pretend like they're okay? Well, I think the person who came back and said, I'm sorry, I didn't mean it. Like, how many of them people are AIs? You don't know. I mean, it's an avatar with some words next to it. We don't know who it could be. Refresh your memory again. We are stage ball, I'm Yara. BTS members throwing up on stage, getting hospitalized. Need I remind you of Britney? Y'all, I don't know what needs to happen for you to be woke and to see what they're clearly showing you, but it is deep. It is that deep. Wake up, please. I don't even tell people wake up no more because you're asking a clone. You know, they haven't figured out a way to clone the soul yet. They're working on it. Most of our society is clones. So the clone can't do what it doesn't have. It can't wake up. So when you, you, we don't even know who we're saying wake up to. I don't even bother saying it to people anymore. And I might that might turn some of you off. But I mean, man, they're basically telling you they got a satellite that can burn up parts of the neighborhood that they don't want. You know, this strange weather. I know it's like bibl biblical and all of that stuff. I mean, whatever. But there's a scientific explanation for that, too. Do you know what I'm saying? The scientific explanation is they got a satellite that can, you know, didn't JFK say something about we're going to control the weather? He said that in the 60s. Come on, man. That's like 50 years ago. There is a reason. If you want to know, I'll tell you. I have just come into contact with someone who has apparently gone all the way down south to New Tarred. He says he flies there. He never sails because... There are a ton of creatures and krakens in the sea, so it is something you never want to do. You never want to get on a boat 
out over in that region. I would just say to you dudes, knowing that the aliens have been here for millions of years before us, what did the Earth look like millions of years ago? The rainfall could have been less. What's the ocean now could have been just like the Nile. So there's all types of cities and stuff under there and different alien sex. This stuff just got flooded out. I don't know what type of technology they got, but I know what they're showing us. Like this is old. The iPhone 20. Dude, that's thousand year old technology that these people just gave to us. It's actually an insult to people to call them people. These aliens just gave to us. Here, we was using this 2,000 years ago. Here, just go off. Most Americans don't know about Hawaii's Forbidden Island, which is owned by a single family and bans any outsiders from coming to the island. This island is known as Nihau and is far different from any other part of the United States. Well, isn't Nihau? I swear one of my ex-girlfriends used to always say that. 70 full-time residents of the island don't have any access to paved roads, no telephone service, no plumbing or running water, and much of the island lives on welfare support from the US government. But with such harsh living conditions, that makes you wonder, why does anyone even live on this island? And if there's nothing to hide here, why is nobody allowed to visit? Well, it turns out, this order to not let any outsiders step foot on the island was part of an agreement when the natives sold the island to a family called the Robinson family in 1864. The Robinson family bought the island for $10,000 in gold, which would be $325,000 today, and this family still owns the island. The Robinsons are very serious about preserving the old Hawaiian culture, which is this where we get Robinson Caruso from? And this is the part that they didn't tell us? They just told us they got stranded on an island, and then that's it. Is this the real life version of that? And they're just like, well, we may as well tell them now includes attending church every Sunday, banning long hair for men, and keeping Hawaiian as the official language of the island. Would you want to live on Nihau? Ever wonder why the powers that be always broadcast what they're going to do before they do it? It's not to avoid karma. That's not how karma works. The reason is because the powers that be are archons. Archons were spoken about in the ancient Gnostic texts. Archons are thought forms that cannot manifest on their own because they have no love or connection to the cosmic womb. Mm, they're thought forms. Hmm. I guess that's why they say thoughts become things. And therefore cannot utilize the law of attraction. Ah. So they use us humans to manifest by putting ideas in our faces. Once we see the idea and experience an emotion about the idea, we manifest it for them. So they don't tell us what they're going to do before they do it. They tell us what they want to happen and we make it happen by experiencing negative emotions about it happening. These things happen. That's deep. And then the next guy says these things happened. <sighs> the good thing about being a black guy is people can't really tell when you're scared unless they're really looking. I'm terrified right now. These things happened. Alex and Donna Vucinas were looking through their old photos to put in their wedding video. They found one where Donna was a kid in 1980 visiting Disney World. They looked closer at the photo. In the background was Donna's husband, Alex, as a child being pushed in a stroller. The odds of getting hit by a meteor are one in a trillion. When a meteor crashed into a home in Paris in 2011, the press rushed over to check on them. They were fine. Their name was Comet. World War I broke out after Archduke Ferdinand was assassinated in his car. The license plate of the car was A111118. World War I started on November 11th. 1918. This one's nuts. In 1975, a 17 year old boy was killed riding a moped. Exactly one year after that, his 17 year old brother was killed on the same moped, in the same intersection, and hit by the same taxi driven by the same taxi driver. They were also carrying the same passenger. These things happened. 21,000 people worked on the Hoover Dam. 96 of them were killed. The first was J.G. Tierney, who drowned. The last person killed was Tierney's son, Patrick, who died 14 years later, both on the same day. December 20th. Violet Jessup was nicknamed Miss Unsinkable. She worked on the Titanic, which sunk in 1912. She worked on the Britannic, which sunk in 1916. And she worked on the Olympic, which crashed. All three ships were from the White Star Line. The Civil War broke out in 1861 on a farm owned by Wilmer McLean. After the battle, McLean moved his family away for safety. Four years later, Robert E. Lee surrendered to General Grant at Appomattox Courthouse. The generals then signed the documents in the parlor of the closest house, owned by the same Wilmer McLean. They sound too good to not be a part of the script. Just are hoping this new technology could eventually be introduced to zoos right around the world. But the visitors here at Melbourne Zoo, they may be lucky enough to experience it for themselves. The trial runs sporadically throughout the rest of the month. What? Oh, man.
man. That's the serial killer face. That's it. Nah. These niggas is unstoppable. It's no way you just smash my motherfucking food with your hand. You dipping your hand in the juice to get my other food out. You squoze that. My nigga, <laughs> listen to me, bro. You done already ate it. <laughs> I don't want nothing. No. <laughs> Hell no. Don't don't fucking get to telling me about it. <laughs> Fuck that plate. I don't want it. This it's crazy shit you done already fucking did. What is these experimental spoons you keep up coming up with? This boy done that's a yum yum sauce cup, nigga. God damn. I know that ain't ranch. I'ma just let that go out my mind, cause I know that's not ranch. Stop. Stop. Damn. <laughs> Fucking black people, man. <laughs> These niggas got jokes for everything. <laughs> I swear to God. Wait, what the fuck is this? Wait, wait, r r what? Rewind that back. I ain't going. You know why? It's a trap. It's like when you achieve some sort of goal or, you know, whatever, you're happy for the moment, but then you're right back to like, uh, now I need to achieve this. Now I need to chase this goal. Now I need to get this. Now I need to get that. Man, I hate these tarot card bitches. They're never ugly. Second, why you don't have a man? Bitch, why you trying to show everybody how to get a man by magic? If you was not a good looking girl, then that's different. You pretty, why you weren't able to get a man with your own goddamn cards? Stop the cap. Yeah, I used to mess with a tarot card, bitch. She tried to tell me it wasn't in the stars. I said, bitch, if you don't. <laughs> The gate was enough. You niggas do not be trying to run from these monsters fast enough. Recording of me having sleep paralysis. During this episode, I could hear talking in my room and brief movements of a person walking by. Every time you see my eyes semi-open, it's me trying to wake up. The last time they open is when I woke up and I finally came to. It's a terrifying, no-joke situation, even though people don't believe it. I mean, the Christmas tree goes back to Semiramis and Tammuz. The queen, Semiramis, told worshippers that when Nimrod was killed, some of his blood fell on the stump of an evergreen tree, and the stump grew into a full new tree overnight. Just like simps, to believe anything a woman say, that sounds worse than this. When we invest in clean energy and electric vehicles and reduce population, more of our children can breathe clean air and drink clean water. What? When we invest in clean energy and electric vehicles and reduce population, and reduce population. Reduce population. Well, of course, we got to counter that with this. If all the people in the world, 9 billion inhabitants, stood next to each other, four people per one square meter, the entire human population would fit on an area the size of the Istrian Peninsula. If each person in the world were provided with a space of about 1,000 square meters to grow food for themselves, the entire human population would fit on an area equivalent to the size of Brazil. If each four-member family were provided with a space of about 700 square meters to grow food for themselves, the entire human population would fit on an area equivalent to Iran. In 2019, it was estimated that there were approximately 7.7 .7 billion people in the world. Almost all the necessary vegetable quantities for a four-member family can be produced on about 200 square meters of garden space. Mm. It is known that arable land currently covers an area of about 31 million square kilometer. On this land, the vegetable quantities needed to feed 155 billion people, or over 38 billion four-member families, could be grown. There are not too many people. There is more than enough space for everyone, except for greed. I'm not even surprised by any of that. be catching these things barefoot shout out to white people y'all give none okay not two not one fuck 
Hi friend, let me save you some time and explain what's really going on here. Have you ever woken up in the middle of the night and not been able to move? Maybe there was even a shadowy figure staring at you? Well, it may be a huge warning, but most people don't know to look out for it. You see, there's a huge myth going around that this is because of a spiritual attack or part of astral projection, which is cute, but the truth is actually even more fascinating. My name is Jesse Lyon. I'm a professional dream researcher, and this is what it actually means. Jeffrey Lyon, and you're a dream researcher? I hate when people try to use expensive words to say something real cheap. For the sake of you guys, I'ma play the rest, but I say con man. You sleep, your brain disconnects from your body. So that way when you move in your dream, you don't accidentally jump out of bed. But when we become stressed, have poor sleep, or start a new medication, our mind and body can get out of sync, causing us to wake up before our body reconnects with our mind, resulting in hallucinations, paralysis, and even feelings of suffocation. To learn the full details, check me out here. And to learn the real science of what your dreams mean, just tap follow. Just follow me and give me some money and I'll show you how I do it. F-O-H Jeffrey. Here are our list of abilities that exist apart from the clear senses. If you're a person who likes history or you don't like to be touched, you're probably psychometric if you're a person where you get easily defensive over the things that people aren't saying or you just always know what someone's going to say you're probably telepathic if you're a person who manifests easily you can be a master manifester a generator or both if you're a person who no matter what situation that you're going through you're always taken care of you're a deflector if you're a person that when you get around other people you notice you're always the influencer that everyone likes to follow you you're a projector if you're a person who always find themselves in chaotic situations, that's because you're probably a bitch. You either a female bitch or use a bitch ass nigga. Oddly enough, women don't like either of those people. This woman's husband noticed that she would do weird things in the middle of the night, especially around 3 a.m., AKA the witching hour. So he set up cameras and this is what he caught. <laughs> Either she's possessed or she's trying to get the sleep paralysis demon off of her chest. Either way, babe, we have to figure something out. Marcus, you testified a moment ago to Senator Butler that every child gets a Know Your Rights presentation. Is that correct? Yes. Is that before or after you release them to labor traffickers? Senator, every child that comes into our care gets a Know Your Rights presentation. Have you read that children are scrubbing dishes they are operating heavy machinery, they are delivering, delivering meals, they are harvesting coffee, they are working construction, they are working as housekeepers, they are working overnight shifts at plants where they are not paid, they are not going to school, they are not cared for, they are not giving meals, almost all of it illegally. Are you aware of that? That's a yes or no? Yes. Do the Know Your Rights presentation help them in those situations? Senator ORR. Uh, That's a yes or no, I think. I, Do you really think that you're helping these children by releasing them to labor traffickers and, yes, sex traffickers? 85,000 children whom you have no contact with, and your answer is we gave them a presentation before we turned them over to these people who are exploiting them on a scale not seen in this country for a hundred years. A hundred years? Yeah, that's about when black people were let go so since slavery are the mexicans the new slaves is that what the government is doing a century do you do home visits in all cases you can actually see where these children are, are being released who you whose care you're putting them in we do not do home visits in all cases senator i'd really like the opportunity to talk about what we let's are look at doing. what the secretary said to you mr becerra that's the secretary told the orr director that's you right extraordinary times call for extraordinary people yes that if she could not increase the number of discharges, he would find someone who could. That if Henry Ford had run his plants like this, he would never have become famous and rich. This is not the way you do an assembly line. Get the kids out, run them through, get them out to those sponsors, those traffickers. Why didn't you resign when he said this? Do you think that this is morally acceptable? Do you think that this is acceptable to run to, to run ORR like an assembly line and to release these children I to traffickers? I we do not run ORR an assembly line. The safety and well-being of children is our top concern. Plainly, it is not your top concern because you have managed to lose 85,000 of them. And they're with labor traffickers. How many? are you in regular contact with right now? I don't have the specific number. How can you not know? Because Why would you come to this hearing and not know? 
Um, respectfully. Respectfully, I, I would like you to do your job and not release children to human traffickers. Respectfully, that's what I would like. I'd like you not facilitate the largest child trafficking ring in American history. Well, it's not the largest in American history. Maybe in recent American history. But I mean, goddamn, that's a lot of kids. Let's look at the photo. You say that's me? Okay, check out the name badge. It says Aldrin. Looks like you're right. But notice the helmet. Can you see my face? No. This is a secret I've been keeping for almost half a century. <laughs> On July 20th, 1969, Neil Armstrong and I pulled off humanity's first extraterrestrial prank. Uh, what was the scariest moment of the journey? Scariest? It didn't happen. It could have been scary. Why has nobody been to the moon in such a long time? <laughs> That's not a, an eight-year-old's question. <laughs> That's my question. I want to know, but I think I know. Because we didn't go there, and and that's the way it happened. And and if it didn't happen, it's nice to know why it didn't happen. So in the future, if we want to keep doing something, we need to know why something stopped in the past that we wanted to keep it going. Money is a good thing. If you want to buy new things, new rockets, instead of keep doing the same thing over, well, then it's going to cost more money. And other things need more money too. So having achieved what the president wanted us to do, and then what thousands, millions of people in America, and millions of people around the world, you know, when we toured around the world after we came back, the most fascinating observation as we, was signs that said, we did it. Not just us, not just America, but we, the world, different country. They felt like they were part of what we were able to do. And that made us feel very good. Mm. I don't really know how to process that. I mean, has the dementia set in and he's telling the truth? Or is he like, you know what? I'm old. Whatever you're going to do, I'm already 87. Women are more violent than men. Um, and if you look at one-sided abuse, 70% of the time it's um, women hitting the men and not men hitting the women. So I actually would argue that women are more violent than men. They just can't be. And I also think and, that... And so infant side, so a woman killing or someone killing a baby within the first 24 hours of life is very rare for a male to do that like it's like almost unheard of when the 1800s women were also more likely to kill infants i've never heard in my life that that men are more nurturing than women you know when i think of nurturing i think of how do you interact with the innocent and I, I guess more of my point is that women are more violent than men i would argue because i think women are more likely to kill the innocent where men are not. I think men just tend to be better people in general. I mean, you guys tell me what you think in the comments. Are women more violent? I don't know that I've heard that one before. You need to leave. <laughs> you need to leave. <laughs> you need to leave. <laughs> Dude, what are you doing? I can't hear this one girl say women are more violent and then segue to this dude beating up his car. Oh. All right, you got me. He is the best faker in Japan. Look at him using a spray gun to burn garbage bags after burning, cut it with scissors and it will turn into seaweed directly. China's technology boom is simply too weak. Then he got some resin raw materials painted on iron plate after drying in the oven, just wrap it up and it turns into chives. Just cut it with scissors and you can use it as green onions. To eat beef, he randomly painted some flesh color with branches. 
After drying, pat it with your hands. You don't think this is very similar, right? Cut into small pieces with scissors. It can easily turn into diced meat that is hard to distinguish between real and fake. Can you guess what he wants to cook? Then, he took out another plate colored into a yellow paste. After drying, tear them apart with your hands. Then he took out a bowl of plastic particles. Apply yellow paint evenly on top and add it to the eggs just now. Stir in chopped green onions and diced pork. When he put this stuff into the bowl, can you really tell it's fake? After the plating is completed, use a hairdryer to set the shape. Finally, add some fake carrot shreds. A dish of beef and egg fried rice is ready to serve. No wonder I'm still hungry after I have Chinese food. The time I caught sleep paralysis in front of my homeboys. Listen to my guy in the back. Keep me trying to talk. <laughs> That's not a black thing. That's a guy thing. You cannot fall asleep <laughs> in front of your guy friends. My friend gets sleep paralysis after naps and told me to force her to wake up. Uh. Get out. You need to wake up, friend. I think you had enough naps. That was a terrible dream, and she was trying to wake up. And another thing, I know she's so exhausted. Any of you people who've experienced that before, put it in the comments. It's, it's damn near turning into an epidemic. <laughs> Bro. The astral plane is a dream world. These people want a what? Lucid dream? Anything can happen in that lucid dream. Do you not even safe? A pigeon just started growling like a dragon. I ain't fucking around. What was that over there? Yeah. Right when the camera just... I, I saw a shadow over there. I'm glad I don't do that for a living. Just watch people sleeping? Dude, terrifying. There's a legend from 19th century Ireland about a man known as Stingy Jack. According to the story, Stingy Jack invited the devil to have a drink with him. But true to his name, Stingy Jack didn't want to pay for his drink. So he convinced the devil to turn himself into a coin that he could use to buy their drinks. But once the devil did so, Jack decided to pocket the money instead, putting the coin into his pocket next to his silver cross, which prevented the devil from returning to his original form. Eventually, Jack freed the devil under the condition that he would not bother Jack for another year, and that, should Jack die, he would not claim his soul, 
The next year, Jack tricked the devil into climbing a tree to pick a piece of fruit. While he was up in the tree, Jack carved the sign of the cross into the tree's bark so that the devil could not climb back down. Once again, Jack made a bargain with the devil that he would help the devil escape the tree if the devil left him alone for ten more years. But so the legend goes, soon after, Jack passed away. But God wouldn't let such an unsavory figure as stingy Jack into heaven. And the devil was still so furious at Jack that he decided the best punishment was to keep his word and not claim Jack's soul. Instead, he sent Jack off into the dark night with only a burning coal to light his way. Jack put the coal inside a carved turnip and has been roaming the earth ever since. The Irish began to refer to him as Jack of the Lantern, or more simply, Jack-o-Lantern. Ever since, people have carved scary faces into pumpkins and placed them next to windows or doors to scare stingy Jack away every Halloween. The devil is pretty stupid in this story. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Ahmed's Icy Flies. Give me, give me some. Squeeze two flies in my shit. Fuck it. I don't even care no more. You don't give a fuck, so I could never. Ahmed, give me, yeah, squeeze that in there. Stop pouring my fly. Put the fucking flies back in my drink, man. Please, put the, yeah, put your hands on my ice and put it in there. I want this motherfucker nasty as you can make it. <laughs> yes, yeah, sir, to the top, y'all. Yeah. Let a fly, let a fly. Gross, that look like dookie juice. Oh my god. Black people, do you see what you've done? It's a goddamn dancing psychopath. Thanks for your contribution to Halloween. Predictive programming or other truth in movie scenarios, movies have shown us real technology that you think probably don't exist, but do. The Army admitted that they have released weaponry through movies such as G.I. Joe and Transformers, such as the Railgun. It was actually their reveal to the world. So when you're watching movies, although fictitious, there is a lot of truth in movies, hidden secrets, or even elite communication. So let's jump right into it. Today I'm going to show you three technologies that exist from technology that I've shown you on my channel. Men in Black, the Neuralizer, is actually just one big optogenetic stick. Check my optogenetics video if you don't know what that is. But aside from themes like dumbs, aliens living amongst us, celebrities being aliens, and even that bike that looks like a Tartaria bike, and other secret weaponry, Men in Black definitely showed us a Neuralizer which basically is based off light flashing and the whole principle of optogenetics is just memory replacement. Adding or taking away memories. That's exactly what the Neuralizer does. A big optogenetic stick. I just showed you several dream patterns to enhance, manipulate, or invade dreams. So basically the movie Inception and the concept of breaking into people's dreams to steal or implant secrets is actually based off of real technology. Also tying into this idea is the idea of astral projection or lucid dreaming. The spirit leaving the body and able to influence somebody else's dream state. This also ties in with angels all throughout the Bible appearing to people in their dreams to communicate messages, influencing and giving dreams. The dream realm is just fascinating. Check out my videos on dreams. We'll close today with one of the most creepy thoughts of all, and that's the God's Eye technology, which I had mentioned but not gone into before. Basically, this is the idea, the power behind all technologies, servers, data, and everything, all connected and using them at once. Furious 7 and Eagle Eye both showed versions of this technology of the God's Eye. All technologies connected at once to have a virtual 3D hologram of everything, everywhere, in real time. One movie, everything, everywhere, all at once. I don't know, was that touching on this? And Eagle Eye, that's when Shia LaBeouf went down. After that movie, his everything changed. Did he stumble across something he wasn't supposed to? He did have an interview when he was talking about some CIA person told him, hey man, we got phone calls from you nine years ago. He was like, yeah, right. And then they showed him. So he said that on Letterman. Leave it in the comments if you ever saw that interview. Think of just your smartphones alone and all the people you share a house with or a neighborhood with. If all the cameras, microphones, and everything were accessed just on them, aside from your smart meters, 5G, everything else, traffic lights, and other cameras that exist, but somebody that could control all of those cameras at once, like the 3D hologram computers that you've seen in movies as well. Somebody that could tap into or hack any of these 
anytime they wanted to. The God's Eye technology is based off of real technology. There's a reason they keep projecting dystopian, anti-free humanity scenarios through movies and dark futures, which is maybe what it will be if we don't back to the future this timeline back on course. I like how he said that, back to the future this timeline, let's put ourselves back on course. Could that be something that they showed us in movies? Back to the Future is a popping off movie 40 years later. Here's how your perception of reality is falsely influenced by the media. Let's rewind the clock to the early 1900s. There's a guy, he's a brilliant Russian physiologist, his name was Ivan Pavlov, who happened to stumble across something really interesting while he was studying dogs. So in Pavlov's study, every time he would feed his dogs, he would repeatedly ring a bell. And over time, he conditioned the dogs to associate the sound of the bell with food. I don't know if he's going to say the conditioning us, first period, second period, third period. It is a bell that tells us when we can finally move around. Mm. It is a bell that tells us, hey, it's lunchtime now. Mm. Even if there's no food around, if someone rang that bell, the dogs would start salivating, drool coming out of their mouths. And just like that, classical conditioning was born. Now here's how it affects you. Let's zoom in on the modern age, where politicians and the media are masters of using classical conditioning to shape how you perceive the world around you. Their enemies become the villain in your mind, and they use your emotions as puppet strings that they pull without you even knowing. So I'm gonna tell you this off the rip, black people. We automatically just associate white people with the enemy. We come on, we just all and white people, you just automatically associate not all of you. I'm not saying you're racist, but I mean, come on, man. I'm not your enemy, you're not my enemy. Collectively, you and I are enemies of this government. They don't like us. I don't know why. Maybe it's because the aliens took over the government hundreds of years ago. So how exactly do they do that? Well, imagine this. You're watching your favorite news channel. Every time they talk about a certain enemy of theirs, they play intense music. They show dramatic visuals and they use really strong language to paint this person as the big bad wolf. And that repetition over time will condition your brain to associate that person with danger and fear to make them your enemy as well. Right? Haven't we associated rap music with danger? I remember rap music being a party. Mm -hmm. Just like Pavlov's dogs connected the bell with the food, it becomes automatic. And here's the real kicker. Once that conditioning sets in, it's very hard to break free. Those perceptions become ingrained, shaping your opinions and your actions to the point where people will literally start to hate someone and believe that they're a racist, the misogynist, the danger to society, or whatever else the media wants to familiar? believe about them. We all know people like that who have false beliefs that they feel so deeply about that they can't understand why they hold that belief. Mind control. You don't even know why you don't like Donald Trump. You just don't like him. You don't know why you don't like girls. You just you don't even like even even the pretty ones you don't like. Oof. Question them about their beliefs. It usually goes mm -hmm. something like this. So why do you think he's a racist? Because all the stuff he says. Hmm. Stuff like what? Oh, you know, a, a bunch of stuff. I've seen so many videos of him. Now you would think that if they've seen a bunch of videos, then it would be pretty easy to just pick a few examples. But they can't. Even though they feel so strongly about their belief, they have no idea why they even have that belief to begin with. That, ladies and gentlemen, is the power of classical conditioning. And it is extremely hard to break. The only way to break it is by awareness and by learning to question everything. Even your own beliefs. Apply logical reasoning. Why Think do I for have yourself. This? And if you don't have any logical facts backing up your beliefs, you might have been conditioned by someone else to hold that belief. Remember, you hold the remote control to your mind. Don't let anyone else press those buttons without your permission. Why is no one talking about how Texas just declared a national state of emergency because of the massive influx of immigrants that just crossed over the Texas border? Wow. Why is no one talking about how the massive influx of these Venezuelans... Wait, 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 wait. What did she say? Why is no one talking about how the massive influx of these Venezuelans middle... What? What's a Venezuelan? I can't listen to this no more. Once you start saying words wrong, it's like, nah, the the microchip is off a little bit. She Her wig is not on tight enough. That's what is, what is the, I, I think she meant Venezuelans, but you never can tell. Morbid facts you wish you didn't know. In the summer of 1984, James Huberty confided in his wife, Etna, voicing concerns about his deteriorating mental state. A couple of days afterward, he tried to schedule an appointment with a San Diego mental health clinic. However, because he came across as calm and mentioned no history of mental right. health issues, right. 
his call was deemed non-urgent, and no one returned his call that day. The following morning, during a family outing to the San Diego Zoo, Huberty expressed to his wife that he felt his life had reached its end point. Citing the clinic's oversight in not returning his call, he commented that society had missed its window to intervene. Later, as he prepared to leave the house, he approached his wife and said, I need to say goodbye. I'm going on a hunt, a hunt for people. As he departed with a firearm draped over his shoulder, he said his farewells to his daughter Zelia, stating that he wouldn't be returning. He subsequently drove to a McDonald's close to his residence. There, in a tragic turn of events, James took the lives of 21 individuals and injured 19 more before a police sniper ended the ordeal by fatally shooting him 77 minutes into the rampage. I wonder if the movie Fallen Down with Michael Douglas, remember that movie? I wonder if that movie was based on this story because there was a scene in Falling Down where they was in a fast food place and they was like, yo, lunch is over at 10.30. He was like, yo, it's 10.35 and he just, he just went ham. On the whole, I wonder, you, you leave it in the comments, tell me if you've seen that movie Falling Down with uh, Michael Douglas. The mainstream media ignored our story, of course. Now it's good to see Spencer Lindquist from The Daily Wire now also doing this story. Inside Colony Ridge, which is one of these colonias, he's a magnet for illegal immigrants. It's a development 400 miles in the interior of the United States, 75,000 people, and it's growing rapidly. We saw, of course, a massive disaster happen there. A massacre happened in this immigrant population a few months ago, back I think in May or April of this year. Right gangs killed five people from Honduras ended up killing like a, a baby girl as well so I think most Americans are like wait a second there's a 75,000 person immigrant population neighborhood that's been built in our backyard and we paid for it and we don't even know about it and they're getting benefits and taxpayer dollars to fund this is unbelievable yeah, it's all part of the plan well my question is they talking about showing us stuff in movies predictive programming did they show us this in Scarface is that why they remade that movie? Is that why that movie is such a classic? So this guy just recently moved to Germany along with his wife and child earlier this year. And as many people do, he liked to start his mornings with a little cup of coffee. But then right around March, he noticed that same coffee he'd been drinking for years and years all of a sudden just didn't taste the same. And as time went on, this ungodly taste along with an extremely uneasy feeling just continued to get worse and worse. So he tried cleaning the machine, but that didn't work. He tried using distilled water and that didn't work either. But then he decided to make a cup of that same coffee from his home at work and lo and behold it tasted completely normal it was at this point he tested the water coming out of his faucet but all levels were within reason confused by this he wakes up the next morning and he's like all right i put the water in the coffee maker before i go to sleep let me just test the water one more time now that it's been sitting this is what he finds extremely high levels of chlorine like we're talking enough to make you seriously ill or possibly even take your life so this guy starts documenting everything he got a hidden camera he's facing it directly towards the machine and he films himself testing the water before it's even added and lo and behold his wife going into the chemical drawer pulling out some sort of chemical and adding it to his coffee as he's sleeping just one room over and when he sees this he just continued to document every single instance he possibly could in order to file a report once he came back to the state. Now when they finally came back, he did file that report, but police stated the camera was simply too far away to say with certainty that she had been adding bleach to his coffee. So he goes all out. He gets even more cameras and starts placing them facing towards multiple areas, including the laundry room, the bleach in and of itself, and directly above the coffee machine. To which he would get more than enough evidence to have his wife, Feliciano Johnson, arrested, where she is currently being held on a $250,000 bond you know one of our great american poets famously once said these hoes ain't loyal no they ain't Whoa, these hoes ain't loyal yo this border crisis has now turned into a criminal crisis according to the oakland county michigan sheriff there are gangs of people targeting homes and burglaries the gangs they're from south america the sheriff calling for stricter border enforcement because he says gangs from South America are coming to Michigan, breaking into homes, a lot of homes, stealing a lot of cash and jewelry and items. So where are these people coming from? According to Sheriff Michael Bouchard, they are coming from Chile, Colombia, Bolivia, Nicaragua, Guatemala, Honduras, and Venezuela. Passport bros, we up. It seems like all of the men are coming here 
for the secret invasion a la Marvel predictive programming? As is, Did they try to show us that? I don't know. But now, all the women is there by themselves. Well, Tartaria was everywhere, and history is, is fabricated, completely fabricated, all of it. We, we used to think, well, you know, the Dark Ages, we don't know what that is. We realized that they invented the Dark Ages and just put that in there to push a whole bunch of stuff back in the past. And we realized, you know, some of history might be wrong, but no, no, it's all fabricated. The whole lot is fabricated. An interesting thing is... I got to push back right there. All of history, maybe all of North American history, but not all of it is fabricated. Just... The popular parts of history, that stuff is probably fabricated, like Napoleon. Maybe he did exist, maybe he didn't exist, you know what I mean? There's some other stuff in there, maybe. I don't think everything. You got to do your own independent research. The uh, um, architecture we find all around the world, in all of our cities, is that old Gothic-style architecture, incredibly int intricate design, and people look at it and say, oh, that's just the way they did things in the old days. A lot of those buildings, like they're so beautiful, the design of those buildings is so beautiful. And think about it, if we lived in a feudal culture, if we lived in a culture where you had to go out and work for a living and, and earn a wage in order to pay to be alive, you would never have had the time or the inclination to construct buildings that look like that and function in the way they did. These buildings were created as artistic statements. I mean, they were functional, they were, they were power sources, they were generators, they used to generate their own free electricity, all sorts of things. But they were constructed in such a way that the beauty was, was a part of it. You just wanted to celebrate what you were creating. We don't do that sort of stuff anymore. Just the, the beauty of those buildings and the, the incredible complexity of those buildings is, is a great indication that we didn't live in this pay-to-be-alive society that we're living in now. I agree with that because people used to use the barter system like in antiquities. Here, I give you these goats for your daughter. Or, hey, you got an extra wife? Or, here, let me give you these. You know what I mean? Everybody wasn't using Money is not even real, but that's a whole other thing. So Terry was all over the world. It was, uh, it was a, an advanced culture that had free energy, it was based on etheric energy, and it existed up until around about 200 to 250 years ago. We think even like a, the earliest would be about the mid 1700s, it, it maybe was destroyed, possibly even a little bit later than that. And around about um, 1880, the late 1800s, they repopulated the world with children. And then they taught them whatever history they wanted. That's what we're moving towards now. I hope you guys realize that. You know, there's no abortion anymore because they got to repopulate the world with more children. Maybe they got clone kids that they're ready to repopulate everything with. Hmm? I don't know. And you got to wonder where all the children came from. Just look up foundling homes and foundlings and orphan trains across the United States, across Europe. They were everywhere. Children everywhere. Uh, a couple of years ago, I was reporting on all this sort of stuff. And uh, then the fires broke out and COVID broke out and I had to kind of leave the topic and uh, get on to more you know, important things that are dealing with us now. Did fires break out? Did COVID break out? Is that what happened? I mean, COVID and fires did break out, but, you know, a lot of people are calling this thing the pandemic now. You, you leave it in the comments what you think. It's just very X-Files. And I want to wake up and go back to regular life. That's why I'm not giving you no affirmations no more because I am dealing with this stuff in the world too. And it's worse because I'm black. Because black people, we don't even get to be scared. We always got to be tough and gangster. In the face of monsters, Michael Myers, I still got to be gangster. Man, I'm scared like you. But um, they repopulated the world with children in the, in the late 1800s. They were literally, literally having, uh, they had amusement parks where they had babies on display. They had baby raffles in Paris in 1915. Trains of orphans going across the uh, country, across the country, across the United States. Orphans being sent out to Australia, New Zealand, Africa, just repopulated the whole world with children and taught them whatever history they wanted. And now we've got to this point where they're basically harvesting all the souls of those people. It's like like they grew their herd, you know. I've often referred to the Earth as a people farm. We're living in a people farm and people don't really realize it. I think of each country as its own separate pen. And what they've done now at the end, this is harvest time and they're stock taking. They've closed all their pens, they're doing their stock taking, they're harvesting all those souls that they can get, leading them into the mainframe. And it's a, it's a natural progression from what happened in Tartaria. I mean, this will be the complete loss of human consciousness if they are able to lead us in there and actually able to get away with this. It will be the end of humanity. But when you really look at what we have, 
had. I mean, it's incredibly inspiring to see the art and to see the, the, the ancient history that's right there in our own cities, if you just go out and look around your city with the right eyes. Do you know what these are? These are bunkers in South Dakota for the rich. Look at this, my people. Mm. Look. Look how huge is how many rich people live in South Dakota? Hmm. Well, it's probably not just only the rich, it's also their families, their pets. You better believe some rich a hole got this whole apartment for his dog. People love their pets, man. So, meanwhile, the show is still going on on Earth. People can't afford rent, people can't afford their bills, people can't even afford food. And the rich are going underground to elude something that is about to happen. What is going on, y'all? Please share this video. Go find these people. Wait, go find them and do what? Some of these dudes, they just out here making videos because it's just fun. They don't, even, they don't even know what to do. Finally solve mysteries they should teach in schools. found in 2020 this how you know when you in too deep once the barbers start pulling out rulers and protractors and what and putting elements and h2o and periodic formulas all in your head this is how god wants your hairline to be he done wrote the intro to breaking bad on your forehead now he putting glue and and white out and 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 cold stone all in your head he putting loose braids in black licorice all on your forehead trying to figure it out this is what the lord want for you you're going against god's will putting this horse tail all on your head man <laughs> just let it, your hair nah nah your hair wasn't even that bad i mean it was but that's what the lord want for you now we cutting it now it look like black turf look look at you he he got a construction hat on if the barber dressed like Bob the Builder, you in too deep. Okay, to my white audience, that's terrifying. If the, the guy that was commenting, what if he was sitting in a barber shop watching you get your hair cut like that and he go to school with you? What is he going to say? All that stuff he said is stuff that he waiting to say when he get to school. That's terrifying. That's, that's, oh my God. I don't even think I could go back to that school. I have to tell mama, no, I can't go back to school, mom. Mom, I got to transfer. The roast session. You would never hear the end of it. It's, these are scary things to me and to black men. You see how good you got it? Not being from the inner city? That's terrifying. That this dude's going to tell everybody, yo, the barber drew a periodic table on his forehead. I saw it. Soon as he said, yo, the barber wrote the formula for pie on his forehead, I would be over with. Soon as he said, yo, the barber put Laffy Taffy on his forehead, I saw it. I would. Soon as he said, yo, the barber pulled out a staple gun and was like. Tick -tick -tick. Soon as he said, yo, the barber put paper mache on his forehead, I saw it. Soon as he said, yo, I saw the barber write an algorithm on his forehead, I saw it. I, it's. <sighs> we make music for a purpose it is music it is that by, by even the act of listening to it you are participating in a satanic ritual wait even by listening to the music 
Come on, dog. Come on, man. That's a lot of music. I'm coming for real. Okay, Swifties. We all know by now that Zena LaVey, you know, the Satanists, but you heard what they were talking about. They said by even listening to the music, you partake in a satanic ritual. You ever heard of a rap sigil? Listen. It's a thing where they one, murder somebody, two, record them, three, chop the audio up and sample it, and return to the scene and rap where they murder somebody at. They put it on a mixtape, and that creates a sigil. They sell the mixtape, people listen to it, and boom, the sigil is charged, and they make a lot of profit from it. Is this what Lucifer, I mean, Lil Uzi Vert was talking about at his concert? Obviously, all y'all is going to hell, right with me. So, you heard the song a million times, and you didn't even know. That's up, but I still love it. It's crazy, because now them lyrics are starting to make sense. I don't really care if you cry. I just know you should have never lied. She said she's not afraid to die. Just a stretch. Now, one of the most well-known examples of this is from this song, Bad Things by Colts. In the background of this song is actually the infamous last speech of Jim Jones. You know, the cult leader who poisoned his entire cult. At certain points of the song, you can actually hear screams from the children in the cult. Scroll if you don't want to hear it. Now, J. Cole went on to sample this song and use it. She now, he claims that he had no knowledge of this, but it's too late now. Who knows the amount of songs that we've listened to not knowing the true meaning? If any of y'all's girl starts feeling paranoid and delusional, you can thank social media for that. Because there's this whole boy mad trend going on, but it's mostly because of this guy who decided he wanted no one to be happy on National Boyfriend's Day. He got way more interactions than he was supposed to. 86 million views and 26,000 reposts. This man single-handedly ended most relationships and got people contemplating if they can even trust each other anymore. And it's mostly because of these comments, bro. Y'all scaring the hoes. Apparently, nobody likes their girl anymore. Look at these. I mean, this man straight up told his girl he don't fuck with her no more but bailed himself out by saying it was a typo feeling nauseous because she says good morning to you is crazy man said you having a bad day and when she hugs you it makes it worse bro you having a peaceful day until you realize it's because she give you the silent treatment hot dudes wanting to cut their hand off i'm telling you bro y'all got them mad as hell i ain't reading all that shit but i'm pretty sure she's just rambling about the thread i swear this is about to start a mass cheating outbreak but that's not really gonna solve anything thing is it everybody just gonna be getting passed around it's about to turn into prime lob city well what i think is going on is these men are realizing you know i don't really like you you cute the you know the physicality is nice but like i don't want to talk to you outside of physical stuff i don't even want to be around you it's okay guys what you are is you're coming into your middle-aged life you ever have your girlfriend or your wife call you from another room and she's like sweetie and then like immediately you go your stomach just goes oh Oh, what does she want? <laughs> oh, this is gonna suck. I know it is not gonna be good. Because it's never good. That's all that showed me. It's creepy that these men are mass figuring that out right now. That's the creepy part. Wow. Watch closely. You're about to experience a nigga moment. Okay, we in New York. Come on. Let's go. We probably gonna go to the bodega real quick. Somehow the police always just fucking with a nigga, man. Make a U-turn. Everything should be good. Oh, okay. I'm, I should be good right now. I should be good. I should be good. I should be good. Uh-uh. Hell no. Nah. Hell no. Nah, that's bullshit. I didn't Are do that. Police? Pull off. No, 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 no. You did do something. You made an illegal turn. But I mean, they, they could have relaxed. But it is New York. New York is not like that. Pull off on them niggas, cuz. Pull off. Hey, stay up. Get up out of here. Get up out of here. Make that left. Go, 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 go. Oh. Go. Shit, shit, shit. Right, right, right. Oh, shit. Okay, we good. 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 We good, we good. Oh, they got away, okay. Now, I was trying to go to the bodega and get me a do-rag real quick. Keep straight, keep straight, keep straight. I think the, that's them. That's the key. Go, 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 go in, go in, go in. Stab, nigga, stab. Get up out of here. Left. Get up out of here, get up out of here. God damn. Okay, shit. Bust this right, bust this right, bust this right, bust this right. 
Come on, bust his right. Go, 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 go. Nigga, go. Squeeze. Squeeze. They coming. Squeeze. Squeeze. <laughs> that ain't gonna get. Come on, nigga. Oh go. <laughs> go. Drive. Oh my god, this nigga gonna get us life. Would you fucking drive? Go. I just told you they was back there. Come on, nigga. Go, 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 go. Damn, it's traffic. Motherfucker. Bitch, I ain't even got no warrants. Go, just drive. I always wanted to win. Hold on. <laughs> he said, I don't even got no warrants. We just ran to run. Yo, what is this? GTA Live? Not GTA 5. This is GTA Live, my nigga. From these bitches anyway. Just drive. Go ahead, go ahead. Get up out of there. Them niggas on your ass. They back there, back there. Go ahead, stab on them, stab on them. Shit. It's too much fucking traffic, my nigga. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, chameleon. Become a chameleon now. Go, 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 go. Open that bitch up, bitch. Move. Move, ma'am. God damn, we ain't trying to hit nobody. Don't hit nobody. Move, don't hit nobody. Oh my God. Come on, go, 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 nigga. Go. Go, go, go. They back there. Go, go. Stab this bitch. Shit. Get up. Fuck, 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 fuck. Squeeze. You want to squeeze? You want to squeeze? He trying to get out. Squeeze. Oh, man. Squeeze. <laughs> Damn. Oh, boy. I'm going to shit it on myself. Keep going. Keep going. Keep <laughs> oh, my God. Listen. Uh, honestly, dude, I'm scared than a motherfucker. I'm nervous, man. Please get away. I hope they get away. Shit. Damn. What? what this bitch get up. This motherfucker go fat. Come on, come on, right, all right. There you go, there you go, there you go. There you go. Oh my god. There you go. We lost. What the fuck? Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Come That's on, police come on. back there. No, 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 no. Keep squeeze, squeeze right there, right there. Keep going. Go, 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 go. They on your ass, boy. Come on. They on your ass. Move, y'all, move. God damn, how many retarded buses is gonna be today? Move this shit out the move. Move, ma'am. God damn. <laughs> Yo. It's a felony. It's a felony. Fuck! It's too much traffic, my nigga. Come on. Stay. All right. Stay. 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 That bitch open. That bitch open. Get up out of there. Get up out of there. Go. 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 Come on. Go. 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 Nigga. Go. Nigga. Go. Come on, man. Shit. I'm breathing hard like I'm running. Come on. <laughs> Shit. Yo, this dude is a really good driver, man. I hope you. This dude is nice. This has got to be a skit, but it's hard for me to believe it is because that's how the cops do in New York. They whoop whoop on you real quick. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, traffic. God damn, dog. Fuck. Come on, squeeze. You got to squeeze, bro. Come on, squeeze that bitch, squeeze that bitch, squeeze that bitch. Police is right stab, there. Stab, stab. They on your ass. This must be personal. This nigga ain't even calling no backup. What you do to him? <laughs> he said, this personal. He ain't even calling no backup. Oh, my God. Yo, this gotta be a skit. This can't be real. Who sent this in? This can't be real. I don't know. This must be the cookie fucking officer off raising Canaan or something. Come on, man. Could you, could you stab a little bit more. You almost gotta get up out of there. Come on, come on. Go uh, inside, inside, inside. There you go, there you go, there you go. There you go, there you go. Them niggas on your ass, boy. <laughs> right on right. Go, go, Whoa, go, that's go. A go. Get up out of there. Get up out of there. Shit. Oh my god. How much gas you got? Okay, we good, we good. Go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> oh, we gotta get watch out. There you go. Okay. Keep going. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Them niggas is on you. Fuck! I know this bus nigga better not play with us. Come on, bitch. <laughs> squeeze, 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 squeeze. You gotta squeeze, squeeze. Fuck that, fuck the mirror. Go. Go, get up out of there. There you go. Stab, stab. Stab that bitch, stab that bitch. There you go. Whoo! Whoo! Alright, watch. Oh, damn. Oh, come on, bitch. Hey, move, 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 move. Fuck, why all y'all walking in the same? Some of y'all was Jay. We should have got y'all. They was Jay walking. Fuck. Oh, my God. Man. You got to squeeze again. Squeeze, squeeze. Shit. Oh, damn. Come on. We in and out. We in and out. We in and out. In. In. Out. In. Right there. In, in, in. Out. There you go. In. There you go. Keep stabbing. Keep stabbing that bitch. Keep stabbing that bitch. Keep stabbing that motherfucker. There you keep stabbing it on their ass. There you go. There you go! There you go! Get up in there, that bitch! Keep stabbing! Stab some more! Stab some more! There you go! Wrong side of that motherfucker! Keep going! Okay! Okay! Oh my motherfucking god! Come on, man! This the this is this. you giving me the fuck anxiety! Me right, too! Okay, me get up too. out of here! We got
gotta get up out of here. This is our last fucking chance. Come on. God damn. Oh my god. Right. There you go. Right, 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 right. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Stab a little bit. Stab a little bit. Stab a little bit. Stab a little bit. Left. Stab. 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 Hit this bitch. He don't give a fuck. Oh my god. These niggas don't give a fuck in that car. Come on. Right, 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 right. There you go. Stab, stab. Move out the way, ma'am! Fuck! Don't you see us running from the fucking law? <laughs> go, 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 go! In and out, in and out! Speed bump! Fuck! Speed! Oh, shit! He hit that bitch like a gremlin! You, you gotta get up out of here! Nah, it's personal! He don't even give a fuck about the speed bump! <laughs> Left! Stab! Stab! Right! right stab! Keep stabbing! Don't let him play with you! Keep stabbing! Don't let him play with you, nah! Don't let him play with you, nah! You ain't, you ain't one of them! Get up out of there! You is not one of them. Get up out of there. Stand on that business. Now stand on it. Oh my God! Come on, right, left, 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 left. Don't let me fuck you. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Stay up. Now stay up on the bitches. Get up in there. Stand on that motherfucking business. Stand on that business, nigga. Stand up on it. Shit. Get up out of there. I still gotta go to the fucking bodega. You bullshit, nah. God damn, I ain't even expected to go on this today. Hey, I did not know we was gonna get all up into that. You almost got me a fucking felony, nigga. Oh my god, I felt like it was a gun under the seat. What the fuck was we running from? <laughs> I always wanted to run from the bitches, but what, what was it? Child's a boy, take me to the fucking bodega. I gotta get a do rag. I'm trying to get sturdy later. You on some bullshit. This is crazy as hell. How you doing me? I'm finna jump in the chat room with, with Kai. God damn. Just keep going. Get the fuck up out of here. Keep going. Don't you slow this bitch down. No motor day. Damn. <laughs> no motor day. Oh, shit. That was really scary. I'm scared for them because... I want him to get away. Then he driving mad crazy. I don't know how that guy avoided a car accident. And you got away from police? Yo, that's <sighs> mission complete on that one. Real talk. All right, that's all we got for today. Stop trolling me, guys. This is not the way to have a conversation with me. This was fun, though. Trolls aside, come back. We'll do it again. All right. I'm your host, Honest Adonis. We out of here.